Well, the first time uh, I went in the tunnel, I was kind of assigned to it, but I knew I didn't really have to go. Okay. Uh, I was sitting on a break by the trail, and this tree just rose up out of the ground. It was actually a tree that was in a burlap bag, and it was a tunnel entrance. It was disguised. And this guy put the tree aside, climbed out, put the tree back in the hole, and walked away. And I thought, no, I didn't see that. And the first sergeant saw it also, and he was, you know, gave me a hard time for not shooting the guy. And he said, well, you can make amends. You go down there and see what else is there. So, uh, I thought, no, maybe. So I went the first time. As a dare. Um, to try to get this guy off my back. Actually. Right, right. But um, no one, we knew you didn't really have to do it. There was a unit of official tunnel rats in Saigon that was started around there. So they would, uh, they got into the tunnels at Kuchi, that's a very right, famous right. place. Mm -hmm. Um, but the uh, officer who started that unit, mm -hmm. uh, and he, he named them Tunnel Rats because there's rats in the tunnels also, uh, he would not recruit um, African American men for that unit. He said that we lacked the courage and the skill to do the job. No, no. Yeah, I did. Uh, Total fabrication because there were a lot of black men who went in the tunnels. I also went, you know, sometimes you can find some really good food in there. <laughs> <laughs> For the loot. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so in, in the monsoon, the helicopters didn't show up all the time, and you could go four or five days between meals. And yes. if you find a tunnel, you know, that's. One of the things tunnels were for mm -hmm. is to store stuff. Right, so, right. 